President-elect Donald Trump on Tuesday said Elon Musk and former GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy will lead a new Department of Government Efficiency, which is not, despite the name, a government agency. The acronym DOGE is a nod to Musk's favorite cryptocurrency, Dogecoin. Trump said in a statement that Musk and Ramaswamy will work from outside the government to offer the White House advice and guidance, and will partner with the Office of Management and Budget to drive large-scale structural reform and create an entrepreneurial approach to government never seen before. He added that the move would shock government systems. It's not clear how the organization will operate. It could come under the Federal Advisory Committee Act which dictates how external groups that advise the government must operate and be accountable to the public. Federal employees are generally required to disclose their assets and entanglements to ward off any potential conflicts of interest, and to divest significant holdings relating to their work. Because Musk and Ramaswamy would not be formal federal workers, they would not face those requirements or ethical limitations. Musk posted on X, Department of Government Efficiency. The merch will be. Later he added, threat to democracy? Nope, threat to bureaucracy. Musk has been a constant presence at Mar-a-Lago since Trump won the presidential election. The president-elect has often said he would give Musk a formal role overseeing a group akin to a Blue Ribbon Commission that would recommend ways to slash spending and make the federal government more efficient. Musk at one point suggested he could find more than $2 trillion in savings, nearly a third of total annual government spending. Ramaswamy suspended his campaign in January and threw his support behind Trump. Where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. You know, you, 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 show, you, show, you show what, you show what matters by your actions, not your words. And my actions are, I'm here, I'm in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm here for a very important reason, which, yeah, it's, it's which is, I can't emphasize I can't emphasize enough that Pennsylvania is I think the linchpin in this election, and this election I think is going to decide uh, the fate of America, and in, uh, along with the fate of America, the fate of uh, Western civilization. I think as a nation, we are really still just a little young, actually. And I think we can still be a nation in our ascent. So on one hand, I'm not going to be the person who tells you it's morning in America because it's not. But I think it can be. And I think it's going to take a leader who both sees the present hour for what it is. The hour is late, but it's not done yet. And I think with that, I do think that our nation's best days for the next generation can still be ahead of us. Oh, yeah. I think a, I think right now, uh, if we're meaningfully above where the mainstream media narrative has us polling or otherwise, if, we're, if we score in the double digits, I think we're well on our way to success. And I think that we are absolutely going to achieve that. And I think that there's plenty of room for a top three, top two, or even a top one finish on the table for us right now. Yeah. 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 Ready to go? Finish your workout? Let's go, Let's go for the back. Four, rip with the line. All the way down. Go, Go, Go,
The Russian Defense Ministry has stepped up mechanized attacks by Putin's army on Ukrainian forces' positions in Kursk region. These attacks are causing major losses on the part of the Russian armed forces, but Putin is not going to stop there. Forbes reports, in Kursk region, three brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces are fighting against the armies of Putin and Kim from two sides at once. It is an apocalyptic battle that costs the Russians and possibly the North Koreans dozens of vehicles and hundreds of lives. The Ukrainian Center for Defense Strategies stated that the enemy has regrouped its forces in the Kursk direction. Initially, Putin gave orders to his army to drive Ukrainian forces out of Kursk region before October the 1st. During the counterattacks, Putin's army managed to regain control of almost 50% of the previously lost territories. On the eve of possible negotiations with Ukraine, Putin wants to regain control of the entire Kursk region. To achieve this goal, he is ready to throw more and more forces into the battle. If a demilitarized line is created, the Kremlin will lose part of its land. It is against the backdrop of such statements from Trump's team that Putin is throwing more and more forces into the battle. Not long ago, 40 new BTR-82s were delivered straight from the factory. Since November the 7th, the 810th and the 155th Brigades have begun a new series of counterattacks in Kursk. They are opposed by Ukrainian forces including the 95th, 47th and 17th Brigades. They are the ones who destroy the BTR-82s with infantry as quickly as the 810th Brigade can send them to slaughter. After a quick analysis, analysts were able to count at least three BTR-82 cemeteries in the Pogrebki area. However, some enemy armored vehicles managed to break through minefields and drones. In this section of the front, the 810th Brigade includes not only Russians and North Koreans, but also Africans and Cubans. Recall Russia is training mercenaries from Africa and Cuba in Crimea for the war in Ukraine. The occupiers are using children from the Unamia Youth Movement to protect them from Ukrainian armed forces strikes, reports the telegram channel of the partisan movement, Atesh. During ongoing reconnaissance, agents of Atesh discovered that at the Kozachi training ground in the Gagarinsky district of Sevastopol, Russian military forces are training mercenaries from African countries and Cuba the report says. According to partisans, the training ground belongs to the 810th Marine Brigade. Military trucks are periodically seen arriving at the training ground, bringing people with appearances that are unusual for local residents, reports Atesh. Moreover, shooting exercises for teenagers with the Unamia youth movement are occasionally held at the same training ground. The Russians are using children as human shields, attempting to protect their soldiers and mercenaries from strikes by Ukraine's defense forces. The partisans added, 